Good morning guys and welcome to Una Watuna. I love the way that rolls off the tongue. Canada's like Sri Lankan and Western food. What you want to oh, that's really good. Egg Benedict with it's like one patch where we are right now where the sea is so blue. That was like the scariest thing ever. We've spent a day relaxing again, not filming, but we're back out, camera is out, and we're currently walking to have breakfast. We're walking along, I'm going to call it the beach road because I'm not sure of the name. It has lots of bars, restaurants, just before you hit Unawatuna Beach, but we are heading to a place called Skinny Tom's Cafe for breakfast. We've heard that Skinny Tom's does like a mixed breakfast menu, so it kind of does like Sri Lankan and Western food. I'm really excited because A, I'm starving, and B, I want to see what this mix is going to be. So we have made it into Skinny Tom's and the food looks incredible. I've gone for the classic egg hoppers. So you get the hoppers, which are basically like a pancake with a fried egg inside. They are huge. They are massive, but it also comes with three curries. Apparently this is a traditional way. You've got a dal, a carrot one, and then a squash one. But it also comes with the coconut sambal. I don't know how you eat it. I presume you get a little bit of the dal. I was going to break it up and add stuff, but yeah, I don't know. And you've got two fried eggs inside, which looks really That's nice. A, I, I like that idea. Hold on. What, breaking it up? Yeah, let's break it up. So I'm going to break a little bit up. That's it, break that. Then crunch it up. I think you're meant to like do it like that. Yeah, God knows. Well, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you do with the fried egg. Cut it up. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll just eat it, put it inside, add it. Oh yeah, mix, mix it up. up. That is really good, but I'm gonna try a bit of sambal as well. I love my sambal. And this one, the squash is a bit different. A bit of squash. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna oh, dunk it in the Dip egg. Dip it in the egg, yeah. Oh, look at that. That is so good. I went for the contrast, so I went for eggs benedict with halloumi um, inside the hoppers, so. Western meat Sri Lankan. God knows how you actually Oh, so they're like soft at the bottom, mm -hmm. like sponge. Okay, I'm just gonna, I just rip it apart. Like. Oh, that looks good. Mm. It's so good, I love that. So I'm literally now just chucking a little bit of everything, sambal, the dal, Oh my God, squash, it looks so good. All in one, and it's really good, because here you can actually get it either in the hopper, or you can get it on a muffin, which would be traditional back home. I love the fact you can get it in a hopper. By contrasting the Western <laughs> and Sri Lankan, obviously I've gone, I've kept it, I've kept it Sri Lankan. Molly's cheated a little bit, but it's such a cool idea. That was so good. Uh, we had a really strong coffee. I've had a really strong tea, and we're ready. We're going to go and check out Una Watuna Beach, which is literally just down here. It's always strange getting onto the beaches. You have to sort of like cut through all the restaurants. Feel really awkward to walk in someone's through someone's restaurant or hotel. Isn't any like proper route to the beach? We're on here. It's actually really windy again today. The weather's lovely. And the sea here in Watuna actually seems a little bit bluer than in Marissa. I definitely still prefer Marissa Beach. Um, however, this has much nicer sea. There's like one patch where we are right now where the sea is so blue. Like, I can't even describe it. I haven't seen the sea this blue in Sri Lanka at all. The waves here are so much better than at Marissa Beach. Like, we got washed out so many times here. They're a lot less, it's a lot less rough. getting rougher though as it's windy it's really rough it pulls you in and out more than marissa which makes no sense the waves at marissa are a lot higher so it's better for surfing here you would say it's better for swimming but with the wind it's kicking up i'm going back in i don't trust myself with the camera I'm going back in i need some lunch <laughs> Clouds 
have come in, but the good thing about it here is that once you walk a little bit further around the beach, we find this place called The Social. We come here yesterday for lunch, and I'm not lying, I think I might have had the best meal of my life. I don't usually go for vegetable burgers, but this burger is the best burger I've ever had. Better than beef, better than chicken, better than anything. Up there with one of the best meals I've had. I know, I know people that do YouTube like, like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is amazing. This burger was so good, so I'm sort of pleased that the, the clouds come in so I can eat it earlier. Please admire this burger, it's incredible. Sorry, I've got to actually read it off the menu. I took a photo because I could not remember there's so much in it. So you've got batana, carrot, onion, coriander, garlic and ginger, top of low-fat coriander sauce, mango chutney, mushrooms, iceberg lettuce, rocket leaves and tomato. But a mango chutney in there is so good. I've actually got chips today rather than baby potatoes. Yes, they with baby potatoes. And you also get quinoa salad, which is really nice. The chips have a shredded and salt. We had them yesterday, not too much, really good, but it's just too good. Hold on. Oh my god. There's like so many flavors right now. The mango chutney gives it that sweetness. It's too good. How is the hummus? hummus? The hummus, hummus is amazing. There's actually three. I need to read mine as well because I can never remember. You've got chickpea, coriander, and onion. Um, I went for something different today just because. The burger's so big. The burger's so big, and I can never finish it all, and I don't want Matt to eat too much, you know. So I'm going to try this now. I don't know. Oh, this is the coriander one. Oh. It's a good hummus. You can it's use amazing. Hummus it's the best. Yeah, the hummus, it's so homemade, it's amazing. That was so good. We're in there for way too long. The weather looks like it's clearing up, and we're actually. We got one. We're getting a tuk tuk now further along to Dalawella Beach for sunset. Hopefully a sunset because it looks like it's cleared up a bit. I think we've got one. Hold on, let me check. We good? How much? 200. 200. We've got one. Hello. Just made it to Dalawella Beach. It's literally like one minute away from Unawatuna Beach, and we've made it to the famous rock. It's right here. The sun. We were really worried, I can't lie, about the weather because it was really, really cloudy. It's still very cloudy, but the sun is peeking through, so hopefully we get a good sunset. What do you think? Fingers crossed. I don't know the difference. It's Dalawala and Wajaya Beach, but I feel like they're both the same thing. Or they're, This is maybe Wajaya, that's the, I don't know. Well, I think because what we had to do was walk across some rocks and not actually a connected beach. I think that's why they're separated, but who knows. So I've got to climb up. This, apparently, all for a photo. It doesn't look too safe. You're not getting up here, and there's no way you're getting up. Look. That is your little path. It looks like it could be a sunset. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Both speed and my heart is racing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it, cause it only does this with you. the palm tree is what everyone comes here for but there's lots of them lined along all hanging out in different directions and it looks a lot prettier than only between beach um, but obviously it's a lot lot smaller and the sea looks a lot rougher here as well we're getting a bit of a sunset which is better than we thought it's coming through the clouds slightly, which actually makes for quite a good picture. And for a sunset, it's better than nothing, but we're gonna walk through it round now to the famous swing. This swing actually apparently made the beaches in the south go like viral, like completely viral. It was like a little set up swing that only the locals used. And a few like, I don't know what, people went there, took a photo, that photo went viral. More people went there, took a photo, that photo went viral. Now everyone goes there. But I think they now charge, which is the annoying thing. But Molly wants her photo. Molly will get. You've got to be careful though, Molly. Why? You know what happened to the last rope swing? What? That. Oh, don't say and that. You have been eating a lot of Sri Lankan food. Oh, I've eaten so much food. That's it, I'll be on there and bang. But we're getting a set, we're getting a slight set. Oh, a slight, slight set. I want it to be. A slight a set's bit. better than no set. That is very true.
it's five. No, but I think it's five hundred. For one go. For one go. And we missed sunset. Yeah, well, uh, to be fair, it went so quick. There was about five minutes of sun, wasn't there? We would never have got it. I'm, not, I'm not sure how worth it is. You can see there's so many people here now. I think it looks really nice without the sunset. So it was really scary. You pay 500 and you get two goes on the swing. Um, I didn't want to do the second go, so I was like, oh, Matt can do it. They didn't want Matt to do it, so we skipped the second go. But we got back to the hotel, went and got changed. We are very sunburned. I don't know if you can tell. I am bright red, but I found this really cool place for dinner. It's a Mexican, it has a rooftop. Hoping the views are good, but it's just this way into town. Just Cheers. Two small burritos eaten. I highly, highly recommend coming to the hideout in Una Watuna. It's another, oh, like restaurant. I look up online where to go. It says these places and they're packed. How does everyone know that they're going to be so popular? And the road is so quiet and then you get in here and it's literally full to the brim. Yeah. Um, but really nice, just a little bit too on the small side for us. Portion was a little bit too small. <laughs> Luckily the beer was good, but we're going to go down to the beach tonight because it is Saturday night. Have a few more beers. Put the camera down and we'll see you tomorrow.